Hi, for the uh, Pinecone Hackathon, the project that I have uh, uh, taken up is to um, compare the content of two documents. So um, I took a business requirement document and a functional requirement document. And uh, the idea is uh, of this project is uh, to have to to input the the beard like one of the business or the business requirements to the large language model, and then uh, see if the large language model can take that business requirement and see if that business requirement has a corresponding functional requirement in the functional requirement document uh, uh, document so this this should be a um, very useful use case because when we do uh, software development um, tracing requirement or requirement um, tracing is is uh, very important um, it is sometimes very manual to check if uh, i have captured all the business requirements in my uh, functional requirements uh, so this is the uh, problem statement that I wanted to solve as part of the hackathon. Now, this uh, use case actually can be extended to many other uh, scenarios also. For example, if I have if I have a regulation, uh, right? Uh, um, let's say federal government um, uh, published a regulation, and um, I have um, my uh, set of uh, uh, transactions or my set of uh, or a contract right that I want to uh, check if it uh, is compliant with the regulation right they are also the similar uh, use case can be used um, now how I uh, created the solution is like this um, so I used pinecone uh, langchain python uh, and uh, openai uh, text davinci uh, model to create this solution. So there are two parts to this solution. First, I took the functional uh, requirement document. I used uh, Langchain um, Word document loader and uh, then the um, token splitter to split it into multiple chunks. Each chunk I embedded using uh, ADA embedding and uh, stored it into an index in pinecone. So the entire functional requirement content has been chunked into multiple um, uh, text segments, which are then embedded, uh, which are for which I created embedding and put it in the pinecone. Then I, uh, then the, I created a uh, UI where the user uh, takes one of the business requirement and uh, asks the, uh, the business requirement and sends to the application to see if that business requirement is covered in the uh, functional requirement document. So what what it uh, uh, for for this process what it does is it will take the business requirement, convert it into uh, equivalent embedding using the same embedding model that we used earlier. Go to the pinecone index and do a cosine similarity. I've taken a threshold of uh, 0.79 and um, I'm returning back the top three similar documents, which um, may be similar to the, the business requirement um, that has been converted to this embedding, right? I get back those top uh, uh, three relevant uh, content, uh, which are nothing but the, uh, the content from the functional requirement document. And then I give it to the large language model and ask it to check if the business clause or the business requirement that I have, if uh, it is actually uh, defined uh, or addressed by the uh, content of the functional uh, requirement that I got from uh, Pinecone. That is uh, how I designed the solution. Uh, let me uh, show a demo of uh, the solution and then we'll do a code walkthrough also. Uh, so first let me show the documents. So I have, uh, so this is my business requirement document and uh, this is the functional requirement document, right? So the functional requirement document has all the functions and the business requirement documents has all the documents, right? So 
let me take uh, the first one, right? As a customer, I want to be able to create an account and log in securely, right? So what I'll say is, is this user story, um, does it have an equivalent um, functional requirement, right? So this is the Streamlit uh, application that I have created, uh, which says which functional requirement defines the below requirement. So when I say get answer, let's see what it does. So it is saying uh, that, okay, the business requirement, this is the one that I gave. And then the functional requirement is there. So the functional requirement is the web page should provide a secure login mechanism with proper authentication and authorization. So it is actually there in the functional requirement document. So if I go here, uh, there should be a login part, right? Admission should be able to manage user accounts, including registration, login, and authentication, right? So, so this part is uh, uh, there. Oh, sorry, it actually came from here. The web page should provide a secure login mechanism with proper authentication and authorization, right? And uh, if you look at it, the web page should provide a secure login mechanism with proper authentication and authorization, right? So it uh, it, it could uh, find it, right? So this is the demonstration. Let me show the code, right? What I did, right? So the code also, the first thing that I did uh, that uh, I mentioned was like to extract uh, the document. So this was my functional uh, FRD document, as I mentioned earlier, right? So I took this document, I wrote this uh, uh, content extraction program. So what it does is, let me come from the main, right? So I created a parser, word parser. Uh, this is the word parser, right? Which uh, is using um, Langchain's docx2 text loader. So it is um, extracting the content of uh, the FRD um, and returning that to me um, as uh, the document schema of uh, Langchain. Uh, I'm using OpenAI embedding. Then I am uh, creating a um, instance of the FRD extract class, which is this class here, right? And uh, then I am, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm loading the document and I'm extracting the content and then I am chunking it, right? So how I'm chunking it is, uh, uh, I'm as I mentioned, I use the token splitter. I used a chunk size of 100 um, with chunk overlap, it was actually not uh, working uh, good. So I made chunk overlap as zero. And um, after that, um, I converted those chunks into the document schema of uh, Langchain's document schema and returned uh, and I'm returning those chunk docs, right? With those then, um, I am calling the uh, load pine cone index and the load pine cone index where I'm initializing the pine cone index and then uh, using the from documents uh, module of Langchain, I am storing the uh, the embedding of the documents in Pinecone. Right? So this is the extraction and uh, loading the extracted content into the Pinecone index. This is that part. Uh, then I have the, the actual, the generate response part, which is the validate BRD part. So here, um, I'm instantiating the BRD validate, uh, right? And then the get response is what is giving me the response. So if I look at this uh, function, um, so I'm again uh, using OpenAI embedding to um, embed the prompt from the user. Um, I'm using like the uh, the Pinecone, uh, instantiating the Pinecone vector store uh, using text the um, Then um, I created an instance of the retriever uh, vector store as retriever uh, with similarity score uh, threshold search type and uh, top k is to um, the top two uh, documents I need and the score threshold of 0.79. Okay. Uh, I created a uh, prompt template saying you are a helpful reviewer. You review business uh, requirements against functional requirements. You'll be given a business requirement which you will need to match with the functional requirement provided in the context uh, answer the question based only on the context provided. Do not make up your answer and answer in the desired format given below, right? So desired format, I want the business requirement that I given and uh, the functional requirement, right? Um, then I'm using the retrieval QA chain of Langchain 
passing the LLM using the staff chain type here. There are other chain types like MapReduce and Refine. But for this uh, small uh, proof of concept, uh, stuff is enough for me. Um, and this is how I am passing the prompt template, uh, returning the source documents, although I'm, I'm not showing the source documents on the UI, but uh, if required, I can show the source documents also, right? And then finally returning the response. This is then what I am using in my Streamlit uh, applic uh, application. Uh, I'm taking the user input, and generating the response. And then the response is what I'm showing on the screen. That is the demo we have seen. So that is that is what, uh, that is how I have uh, developed this application. Um, and it, it's kind of, uh, uh, right now it is doing, a, as I mentioned, business requirement to functional requirement document comparison, but this can be extended to any use cases where we need to compare uh, two documents. Um, so that, that's all uh, I wanted to share. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.